you doing everybody? I'm Artist Brian Sheffield. Welcome back. It's good to have you with me today. I'm going to do a, a piece of spray art today for you called Dueling Dragons. And uh, we're going to have two dragons off in here. And it's going to look like their they're fires intermingling. And uh, just wanted to show you this. This is the brand canvas I'm using. I'm using a Master Touch and it's a watercolor canvas. Uh, it, it, even though it's specifically made for watercolors uh, you can spray uh, spray paint on top of it a nice triple prime canvas and uh, I almost messed up my stencil everybody anyway we'll start off with some white I'm gonna start off with some white here in the middle and do like a triangle shape And uh, then have the ice dragon on top and the fire dragon on the bottom. So you want to go blue and red. back and forth like this and kind of intermingle them and uh, kind of like that and now we're going to come back over the whole canvas with black and we're going to do a rip and we're going to do this several times I want some variation off of these corners too. But like I said, this is going to take several times to get this right. You remember when I lay my plastic down, lay it paint side up and clean side down and uh I'm gonna come back in with this blue second we're going to fold this in and then uh, I'm going to come in with some blue and some red now that's white shit some red and some black And with this, all I'm going to do is, is just fly it around. Didn't really mean for that white to be in there, but that'll be all right. And when you do this blending like this and you tap tap around, you're going to get all kinds of colors in there. I mean, you're going to get a lot of crazy colors in there. Since I did white on that side, I'm going to have to do it on this one too. Or 
it won't look right. You want to balance it out from side to side. Okay, now you want to come in and burn your canvas. Gotta go over here and get my lighter. So you want to go ahead and burn it and seal it. Set it on fire. Even let it burn just a little bit. But you don't want it to burn to where it, it flakes the paint completely up. You just want to kind of seal it and maybe get a little bit of relief to it. Come back, run your hand on it a little bit. Okay, now we're... Remember, we started here, for our dragon, right here in this spot. What you want to do is you want to kind of just do like that, just to give you a guideline of where the dragon's head would be. got an ice dragon. Down here. So we're going to spray it blue. And then uh, we're going to spray white. And uh, where'd my water go? Oh, I laid it down over here. I told you I'm going to do these just a little bit different than I've been doing. So we're going to go like that. So we're going to burn that just like that. Just like before, you want to kind of tap it down. You don't want it to stick to that paint, but you want it to kind of stay in place. And come back in over the top of this with this black. that just like before I'm gonna use my razor knife I like to keep it handy anyways you never know when some crazy idiot's gonna knock on your door and try to start some crap anyway you go with it like that and uh we're gonna outline this dragon in white and then come off with our lightning effect like we had before But, uh, come in and variate this so it blends. You don't just want it stark white around that dragon. I mean, a stark effect. So you do like this and it kind of gives it a variated theme. But it makes it a little bit darker around there and kind of makes the dragon stand out. And that's what you want. And, uh, white we gotta lay our dragon out remember you want a basic idea of where it's gonna lay just like this come in with that white and this red on top Got to burn it. You want 
Well, you're dragging out. Back to this black again. And we'll come back and outline this dragon in either red <coughs> either red or white. I'm not sure. We might outline both of them in white. Or maybe yellow. I don't want them to be exactly the same. razor knife and pull this up. You gotta be real delicate with it. This is the last time I'm using these dragons so uh, when I finish this I'm gonna do some other pieces and uh, do a I'm gonna do a, a dragon collection of the three dragon videos and then I'll uh, start on something new. No more dragons. Let's throw a few stars for now. Get a few stars out there. A little bam, bam, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Bam, bam, bam. Anyway, we'll get a few out there like that. And uh, that's going to get us. Uh, I, I got to let this dry for a little bit. And then we'll come back and do some more. Anyway, to continue, you want to. I want these fires to be intermingling, so we're going to have to figure out a way to do that. Then you come like this and you put that white off in there. Now we're going to come back with our wrap. Got that stencil on. I'm not sure that I'm, I'm not positive if I'm going to use it or not. I might just kind of keep going with what I got going on here. And uh, that top dragon's head, but it sure turned out that way, didn't it? Anyway, we're going to keep it in here. Pretty good. Uh, I think I want to burn that. It's almost got a red, white, and blue theme going on there, don't it? That lighter's about had it. Well, I'm gonna let it sit there and burn it for a second. Burn its way out. 
let it do its thing. And, uh, we'll come back and see if it'll rip. If it doesn't, then that's fine. But we're going to come back and extenuate that and uh, really make it pop out with some different colors. And uh, we're gonna start off with some dark blue that I just bought for the outside of this dragon. And then we'll go outside of it again with white. start opening these cans off camera so I don't waste waste time you sitting there watching me open a damn can so I'll keep that in mind next time for the next next segment uh oh looks like I may have bought a can of bad paint people I did I did bought a dad Bad, bad paint. Been sitting on the shelf too long. But the paint underneath is good, so I'm going to use it. Had skin on the top of that, top of that paint, people. That's what happens whenever it sits too long somewhere. And uh, we'll go with, with our smallest brush. And now we're going to. Line this dragon out just like we did in our other videos. And this is uh this is the tedious part and it takes a while. So you can go get you some tea or some coffee or if you're drinking a beer or whatever it is that you're doing. We'll get you a refill and come back. Anyway, this is just a basic outline of what it is that you're doing. And we'll come back with that white on the outside of this whenever it dries some. And we'll do some other stuff. All we're doing is just outlining it for right now, which is blue. And we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to outline it with red. And then we'll come back with yellow on the outside of that to produce the effect that we want. And uh, boy, we've got a rain shower going on outside. It sounds pretty nice. It's nice and relaxing. Just what I need on a Friday afternoon after a hard day's work. And then come inside and make a nice piece of art. I always like doing that. I'm glad somebody talked me into doing this for YouTube. I never even would have thought about it if, if my buddy wouldn't have challenged me. He said, "Man, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't do that spray art like them guys on YouTube." And I said, I bet you I can. And uh, he still challenges me every week. He says, man, you need to make another video. He said, that last one was okay. He said, I liked it pretty good, but I think you can do better. So keep keep, keep making videos until you come up with your, your best one. What, what, what he really wants me to do is just keep paint. That's, that's my buddy Marco at work. A good feller and uh, I have to give him the credit for me videoing this stuff because he's the one that challenged me to do it and there you go I appreciate you there buddy buddy appreciate you watching and sharing my work with other people 
That's really pretty cool, man. Wish there was the more people out there in the world like Marco. He's good people. And uh, at work, whenever somebody has a problem, he tries to help them with it. And, uh, and you know, he's not much on bitching at him about it. He just says, hey, look, you need to you need to do it this way because that's the way the boss man wants it done and it, it's it's what makes the best product. And uh, he's really good at that. Pretty good people. And uh, I'm gonna set this blue up for a little bit. I'm just gonna put the cap on it. I'm not gonna uh, completely I'm not completely done with it because I'm going to put it all out in here too. We're going to do some blue, white, red, and yellow highlights. And uh, some black too. I, I, I'm going to do some black in, in there just like I did on uh, just like I did on Big Blue. just a basic line you're not throwing off any special effects with it this is just to outline it and then you're going to come and do another outline on the outside of this then we'll have to when we're we're done with all the highlighting on the on, on, out through here and on the outsides of the dragon we'll come back in with some black and we'll do some detail work and really bring the inside of the dragon out Telling this out because it's a lot of it, and you really want to kind of pay attention to where you're laying your line. I'm not trying to get in any particular rush. It's uh, I'm off for the rest of the weekend until Sunday afternoon, so it's Friday afternoon. Got a little, nice little rain shower going outside. I can hear it, and I can hear kids playing. I, I'm sure y'all hear them kids. They out there splashing around in the rain. Lord help them. Hope they don't get sick. But they having fun. They out there having fun playing together, so ain't nothing wrong with that. I wish adults could do that and get along with each other in the world and play nice in a sandbox, but that's really going to happen these days with the way people are. They think they're supposed to put the way that they live off on everybody else and tell them what to do. And uh, I think that's kind of stupid, but okay. I'm not going to try to tell you how to live not my job to live your life, it's my job to live mine. No. Uh, part of living my life is creating beautiful things for different folks that likes custom work for their home. And uh, that really kind of translates, er 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 everybody can understand that. So. Even people that seem to be heartless, they'll stop and look at a painting that somebody made and they, they, name, they might even be impressed by it and uh, want to buy it. So 
You never know what will change somebody's life. Something you say or something you do. It could have an impact in a way that you didn't expect in a good way. And, uh, something nice you say to somebody today or if you help somebody in a certain way that's not the same race as you. You may uh, change that person's life because they, 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 for instance, let's say if I took a pot of chili to one of my black neighbors because I knew they didn't have a whole bunch of groceries. They may have never been, uh, had a white person nice to them in their entire life. And vice versa. You know, if I didn't have nothing to eat and a black person brought me something to eat and I hadn't had a black person nice to me in my entire life, then uh, it may change my view on the world, the way you see things. And, uh, you might take some hatred that somebody had in their heart and uh, with one little action you can, you can change their whole world and the way that they see things. So there's a lot of power in little small little actions like that. And uh, you got that power. You most certainly do have that power. And can exercise it at any time you feel ready. It doesn't have to be about me, me, me all the time. all kind of charity organizations out there in the world. Some of them are good and some of them aren't so good. Some of them are really just a scam to, to get money out of you. Anyway, uh, we'll come back and we'll start doing some more outlining. I'm going to give my back a rest for a minute and uh, we'll keep going on. Okay, I've let this paint sit on the wall for about an hour when I finished all that step. And uh, that's almost dry, the highlights that I put around the dragons are almost dry but not quite as you can see and uh, we're going to start off with some black highlights now uh, I went and got a new set of brushes this one's a small brush it's not quite as small as this one but it's pretty close and uh, we're going to start off with our black highlights and remember you want to go off on the edge here and push some paint up in the bristles so that you get a nice coating on the outside that's going to flow and uh, you want to come off with some nostrils and you want to put an eye right there with a brow and uh, you want to come up with different places in his jawline and where his toes are at and uh, you want to do some abstract lines like this and it'll give shape and form to your dragon in an abstract form so this is a mix of abstraction and it's a uh, kind of impressionism sort of kind of anyways it's just something a little different that I thought I would come up with and uh, we'll get on the inside of these dragons and you want to do a nostril remember and you want to kind of follow along that edge there and then put an eye in and then do a brow and then a back piece and a little along the ear and just remember what it is that you were doing on your other one and kind of mimic it down here and kind of go along with the flow and form of this dragon to give it the shape that you want for the body and you can make it flow out like that with these with these lines it's like a linear design sort of thing and uh, you can make it flow along like that 
and give it a little curve here and there. It'll give movement uh, to your dragon. And you come in there like that, and uh, then we want to come in with some black highlights. Here, starting in the middle, and uh, like I said, you kind of follow along some of these rip lines, and it'll give a little bit of depth. Uh, where a dark spot would be in your nebula and uh, kind of follow that along and like I said it'll add depth in there and it'll also go along with the theme of what it is that you're doing inside the dragons as well and uh, you just kind of do a random random uh, abstract thing where you think a shadow would be in your nebula along those rip lines just like this and when you come back and accentuate it with other color against that black it'll uh, give you that dramatic effect that you're looking for that makes everybody look at it and say wow where did you get that or who made that or you know if uh if you're following along and you're the one that's that's making it in a similar fashion to what it is that I'm doing here then you might blow some of your friends minds and uh have them just go utterly ape shit over your artwork anyway you want to rinse that one out and uh, make sure you get it good and clean and then just let it sit there for a little bit because you're going to use a different color with that but we're going to close up the black because we're done with it I'm not going to use it anymore and uh, we're going to go to our white and you want to pay attention to where your color is okay where you got your blue you can lay in white with your blue where there's red or pinks or purples you don't want to put no white because you want it to give that intermingling effect and you want to kind of stop start it like that and then have have them intermingling that way and uh, anyway we're going to go ahead and start re-outlining our dragon here our ice dragon we're going to outline it and uh, of course we're going to do our along with the theme here and kind of make it look like it's moving or ready for battle as it were Keep outlining this. And this white. This is a little bit different than the other ice dragon I did. Just a just a just a hair. A hair different. Uh, this goes more along with my abstract theme that I've been working on. And uh liking the way it's looking so far hope it turns out good on video as good as it's looking right here the bristles to bend uh, what you're looking for is more fine on detail 
So you just want to barely let your bristles touch the canvas. Just barely let it touch. You want to kind of make him look like he's got power. As he goes off into the, into the night to fight the to fight the red dragon. You gotta give your ice dragon power. come back on the on the dragon down below and we're gonna do it off in yellow and a similar thing and uh, really try to come off with something cool this is the really painstaking part everybody and it takes a while like I said if you need to get a refill on something to drink you can come back and I'll probably still be doing highlights maybe you get back from your bathroom break or getting you something else to drink I'm having a, a, a Malbec today made in Argentina it's pretty good uh, really kind of enjoying that today and Sitting here making this paint for y'all and really kind of enjoying that. It's really nice. But uh, of course, these are these are nebula type paintings, and uh, of course, you know anything can really happen in a nebula. So you can put whatever kind of effect you would like to in here if you have a slightly different idea. Then uh, I would encourage you to to give it a, give it a try, and even video it, and uh, and then turn around and watch it and uh, see what it looks like. You, you might impress yourself. You might even say, you know what, I can, I can be a YouTube artist too. I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. I never knew I could, I could do this. I was, I was always afraid to, and then my buddy, and I mentioned before, he, Give me a little kick in the ass and say, go with it, boy. And there you go. Okay, now, you want this fire coming out, and like, I, like, like I said before in the other videos, you want to kind of go with it. And don't be afraid. And uh, have this fire coming out with these highlights. Kind of keep it going like this. Coming here when you, like I said before, remember when you lay up against this black, it really pops out. And uh, you just, you never know what it is that you can make if you try. And you go with it. Keep laying it out, and keep laying it out. And at the end, 
I may do the darken out thing just a little bit just to kind of bring it together. Remember to always move away from your dragon in the basic fire pattern. So it looks like it's it gives it that spew look. Like it's actually it's actually coming out, you know. Like I said, you gotta pay attention. So you got some red up in here, so you wanna skip over and then go white over here. And not there because you're going to come with yellow over the top of that, see? And it will give you that overlap look. It'll make it look like they're overlapping and fighting. And that's really what this picture is kind of really about. I've noticed there's a lot of racial hatred in the world these days. A lot of religious hatred in the world these days. And uh, it really is a sad thing to see. Can't say I care for it much, but I guess my opinion doesn't matter. I'm just one person. I don't know how many people out there might feel the same way I do, but you know, you can't solve a problem by bitching about what somebody else is doing. You can only change the world by changing what it is that you do. And so I choose to create beautiful things for everybody to look at. And hopefully you enjoy it. I would like it very much if you did. But it isn't mandatory. One person commented, I, li I, I liked it until that damn deer. And, you know, I kind of agree with that because that uh, guitar painting was actually uh, a request from somebody. And they never did buy the guitar because they hated the deer. They hated it. And I didn't like it either. And I told them I wasn't going to like it before I painted it. But they wanted it in there. So there you go. Anyway, I may end up redoing that, and we'll see what happens. I'll have to keep looking at it, and I might scrub it down and, and redo it and uh, make something really beautiful on it. Just something kind of random out of my head, like what I'm doing with these, these paintings here. And, uh, really pretty happy with it so far. I appreciate y'all watching. I really haven't had anybody be unkind yet, and I appreciate that, everybody. Uh, if you see something you don't like, or if you see something you, or if there's something that you would like to see in particular, just let me know, and I'll try to do it. And, uh, what I'm gonna come back one more time with some yellow highlights. I'm gonna take a break for a second, and then we'll come back and finish it off. So you want to continue along with your white highlights. And uh, I let this painting sit for about, oh, I don't know, about an hour. And uh, this is still just a little bit tacky here on this white, but it's it's not uh, it's not where it'll smear. So I'm going to come back in and do some highlighting here. on this dragon. Because I want to bring more light up into this area. I want to bring a greater focus on the dragon itself. And I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom one. I know this painting has taken a while, but it's a, uh, you really got to pay particular attention to where you're laying these strokes at.
some on the top, some on the bottom. on the inside and uh, continuing to bring shape and form to your dragon maybe even do a little bit more dramatic fire effect you want to kind of concentrate uh, color right here where it's coming up out of his mouth and that gives the greatest fire effect right there closest and since it's pointing towards the middle of the painting in the end it's going to give you focus right there in the center where it is you're trying to bring attention to anyway because when you bring focus to the center of your painting you make people look at it and uh, it's just kind of funny how that works anyway you come off of something like that and I'm gonna dip that brush uh, off in my oil there and uh, I'm done with the white I'm not going to use it anymore now I'm going to go to my yellow and uh, this brush is about the same size but uh, we're going to outline our dragon just like we did up here going to outline our dragon now remember this this yellow is a little bit brighter than uh, that white is so you don't want quite as much coming off You want to use a little less yellow than you did white because this yellow is so bright and uh, it'll draw attention away from this dragon if you overdo this one down here so you really kind of have to pay attention to that how the light in the picture is balancing out you might see me step back for a second and look just so I can see exactly what's going on and uh, make sure I get it right for everybody out there watching I don't want to make a bad mistake and come off with something that doesn't look good best business practice is they say keep your customers happy if you keep your customers happy they'll keep coming back for business so I intend to do my best effort here and uh, hopefully maybe I can even gain a subscriber or two and y'all keep watching that's pretty awesome I really enjoy sharing my work and uh, when somebody comments it just makes my day you know because something you did made an impact on them and that's really cool even if they didn't like it it still made an impact you know and that's cool you know not everybody's going to like the same thing and I can appreciate that some people like to vacation on the beach. Some people like to go camping. Some people like to go hunting. Some people like to go on fishing trips or whitewater trips. Just all kind of neat stuff out there you can do. A buddy of mine went to, uh, went to Mexico on a cruise ship. He had a good time. Picture of him smoking a real cigar. Oh, Marco.
Anyway, you keep outlining your dragon here and kind of go off. Remember, you don't want as much going on with this one as you deal with that one because of, because of the brightness of this yellow. Well, you kind of do like this and just kind of follow the outline all the way around doing your little thing in a minute we're going to have the outline for the fire We've got to highlight the inside of this dragon for a second before we get all off into the nebula here. I want to finish the dragon off with some highlighting, just like we got in our other one up there. But remember, just to be real easy, easy with your brush because you want to balance the light out. You don't want quite as much detail in this one as you do in the other one because of the brightness of that yellow. So it kind of balances out. Just like that. Now we want to start where the dragon's mouth is at. Go to fire. You kind of work your way out here. Remember to follow along your rip lines. And to uh, remember to, to jump over sometimes if you see one that's See how it's jumping over? Like it ends about right up in there. And we'll leave that kind of blank and devoid of any at all. And you kind of want these to come across and meet together right there. And then you jump over and go over to here. Just like that. And that's how you get that intermingling look that we were looking for. dropped a string right there and it kind of made it look funny but the way you just kind of keep going with this we're almost done this is the last time I'm going to work and uh Pretty much basically got this covered now. We're just a couple of minutes away from being done. I've got a little bit more to do right here. To balance to balance out the color. Then we're gonna come back in with some, some black. Almost done, everybody. Hang tight. We got this. I'll close up my yellow in a little bit. And uh, the final touch, you want to come in, you want to fade in certain areas because you want to bring focus to the middle. That's the whole point of the piece is to bring focus right here. So you don't want to blacken none of this and none of that. You want to do it in certain spots. Right here, you want to kind of curve in 
right there and right here a little bit, you want to kind of blacken that. So you kind of sand off and you just kind of let that paint fall like it would and just kind of blacken that edge. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other side, but we want to blacken right here just a little bit. All the way down. Kind of, kind of do it like this. And then you want to get this just a little bit. Just like that. And then I, we're going to come in with some stars here in the middle. And that's where we want to do a concentration. Just like that. And uh, there you go, everybody. Uh, Dragon Duel.